what is going on everybody my name is Sojus and today we are back again for another video and today guys I got a little bit of a short video here for you and um, basically what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be adding sounds to our GUIs today now this is actually a very very simple uh, very simple guide and um, we're gonna be making this as simple as possible so let's get right into the video um, so before we get started, uh, you want to make sure that you have your Explore and Properties tab open as well as your Toolbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our taskbar. We're going to click View. And then uh, all you want to make sure that is darkened is your Explore Properties and Toolbox. And the reason why we want our Toolbox out is because we're going to be picking out our audio that we're going to be using for our GUI but for right now i'm going to have this closed so it's not in my way uh, so the first thing we're going to be doing is going over to our explore tab and then we are going to be going down to our starter gui and we're going to click the little plus button beside it and we are going to add a screen gui right here all right so it should be in guis and it should be about the fourth or fifth one down all right and once we have that uh we're gonna be ready to go all right so we're gonna name this uh we'll just name it kind of whatever but for now we'll name it sound test all right uh next thing we're gonna do is we're going to insert a text button i'm not going to be doing anything too too fancy and um i'm not going to be doing any too, anything too fancy for you guys um just be wary of that so if you want a more you know advanced version of this leave it down in the comments below if you want something that uh is a little bit more complicated and sophisticated as far as playing sound from uh, a gy button uh so we're just gonna make this kind of uh let's see we're gonna make this kind of whatever it's, it's way too big <laughs> all right so we're gonna make this a little bit too about that um you guys don't have to do any of this unless you want to. Uh, you probably won't have that specific plugin. So just kind of ignore this next little bit that we have here. I'm just gonna be kind of making this look good. All right, almost there. I was gonna say is play sound. All right. And we're gonna get rid of this. Okay, so as far as this button goes, uh, we're gonna keep it super, 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 super easy for you guys. Um, let's move this over so it's not in the middle of our screen. All right, so basically what you wanna do is under your play button or there's going to be a plus button beside your play button here when you have it selected and then you're going to click the plus button and then what you're going to do is insert a local script all right and then within this script you're going to click the plus button and you're going to insert a sound uh, right here in sounds you're going to insert a sound and then this is where we need our toolbox because we're just going to get a uh, click sound. I can't hear it, but um, and we're going to put it in here. <clears throat> All right. So what I just did is I went scroll down to the sound ID and copied it in here and of course you know if you just want to click it and put it in there and put it in there and then script it from there you know that's that's perfectly cool as well um so what we're gonna do is we got all of this ready we can't hear it right now but that's perfectly fine so once we go into the local script what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our play button so from there what we're gonna do is put local play button 
equals script dot parent dot parent. All right. So basically what this is doing is firing our play button. So the parent of our sound would be our local script. And then the parent of our local script would be the play button. And um, so this is just making our script a little bit shorter for us. So we don't have to type out all this out. So the next thing we're going to be finding is our sound. So the next thing we're going to put is our local sound equals sound or script dot Is it just sound? Pretty, it might. I don't think it's just sound. Um, script dot parent dot sound, right? All right. We'll just do it like this. Um, I'm probably doing this wrong, but um, <laughs> we'll we'll test it out. We'll test it out. Uh, so. The next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to put play button dot mouse dot mouse button one click connect. function all right so once we have that we're going to press enter after it and then we'll get this little end right here at the middle and then all we're going to put is sound and then we're going to put our our uh our colon here and then we're going to put play all right so we're, we're going to click play And make sure our volume's on. Let's see what our output is saying. It's not available in the sound test. Okay. Um, I made a slight mistake. Uh, we need to do just one parent. All right. Load in here and make sure our sound is on. As you can hear. All right. Let me <laughs> let me turn up my 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 desktop audio. You probably can't, you probably can't tell the difference between my mouse and the clicking of this, but uh, um, here maybe if I just like do this. All right, so uh, as you see, we have the sound coming out of our um, out of our GUI. Uh, I want to make a quick short video of just sounds and stuff with GUIs. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple, and um, hopefully. Hopefully it helps you guys out if you want to add like clicking sounds and stuff like that to your GUIs when someone clicks them and all that cool stuff. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Peace.